Congratulations, you survived first year, but the journey is not done. It's time to survive your second year. So here's some tips on how to survive your second year. Plan your time efficiently. Things get a bit more serious in the second year. Why? Because everything you've learned in the first year, you're now adding on your learning in your second year in more detail. And second year gets a bit more intense as the professors know you are new to university. You've had a year of experience. Now it's time to get down to the itty gritty. Get involved with extracurricular activity. Whereas in first year, you had loads of time to do stuff. In second year, you might not have as much time, but always prioritize doing something outside of university. Take care of yourself. You need to take care of your mental health. So take the time to stop university and look after yourself. Because if you aren't in your best position to look after yourself, you will not give your best work. Stay organized. If your room's messy, your head's messy. If your head's messy, your work's messy. Tidy up your room. This will tidy up you mentally and this will tidy up your space physically to work. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Listen, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. It's okay to ask your peers or your professors just for a little nudge, for a little help. Set some goals. Finish this assignment by this time. If you set goals, you'll find that you're more likely to achieve them. Why? Because you're reminding yourself every day what you need to do. I remember making a video where I had a checklist. Pay rent by a certain time. Learn this skill. Sign up to this job board. Because when you go to university, you'll find yourself very busy and there's no one to keep you in check. Network, network, network. Your network is your net worth. Meet more people. You've been there for a year, you've met a lot of people. Meet even more people. The more connections you make at university, the better. Then you can never go wrong with meeting more people and even get involved with your professors, your faculty leaders, the local area, everyone and everyone just talk to you because you will learn one, communication skills, two, networking skills, three, everyone has a unique story and something about them that makes them different. Take advantage of your campus resources. Your university has the best equipment. They've invested a lot of money to give you the resources you need to pass. Use them. Balancing out that social aspect with the academic aspect. Do not go full in on university because you will burn out and you do so much you just can't do any work. You're exhausted. You're mentally tired. You're physically tired. Take the time out to do something. Stop comparing yourself. Everybody learns at a different rate. Everybody does assignments at a different rate. Your friend might be finished with their assignment and you might not be started yours. As long as you get the assignment there on time, that's what matters. Just because you don't understand does not make you better or a worse for a student. What makes you a worse student is saying you understand, acting like you understand when you really don't. Because when it comes to the assignment, you won't know. You're there to experience. So don't think yourself you are any smarter or dimmer than anyone. You are there to learn and you are there to become that person you want to be.